Yeah, how you doing? This is Jeremiah from Jeremiah's Tools. Um, just going to show you where uh, I've put together a, an old lind with a Cobramatic push pull system. Cobramatics are uh, unbelievable uh, box. They uh, even a second hand one retails for about a thousand dollars alone. Um, a good gun on a Cobramatic box is worth its weight in gold. Now, um, well, I'll go into the gun in a second, but um, it's coupled with a Lin v VI 206 uh, single phase power supply. Good old machine. Um, there she is running there. I got her open there on the side. I've hooked up my uh, positive and negative to uh, their uh, obvious spots. And um, you got a good uh, regulator up there in Air Products, uh, heavy duty um, regulator. I got a mix of 75% argon and 25% uh, carbon dioxide going through it. Um, got a, you can move the box about 20 foot away from the lind. I got the, the box wired directly uh, to uh, the amphenol at the back. I took out the amphenol and put in a junction box um, right there. And so I just bypassed the amphenol um, and wired it directly in there. So this is uh, hooked up to that. Uh, more or less permanently. Um, you can have the 110 running off the box there to uh, power the box up separately. 110, 115. Anyway, uh, the gun. The gun is uh, an old Cobra gooseneck. I uh, put a heavy duty, uh, see, this is usually for aluminum pulse welding and aluminum welding. Uh, this, actually, the box is usually, and it's primarily, it was designed to uh, MIG weld aluminum. I'm running a uh, 045 wire. Um, mild steel through it and I'm going to attempt a about a yard long uh, fillet weld here. The, the, go the copper gooseneck guns uh, are not made anymore however the parts are uh, interchangeable with the newer guns. This old body um, this old body is uh, I just refurbished it I put a as you can see a stainless steel screw there that's actually adjustable it makes the trigger uh, nice let's just leave it at that uh, like I say, you can't get the parts anymore, so one has to improvise. Um, it's a push-pull system. Um, wow, I wasn't really paying attention to the camera there. I hope it wasn't too bad. Anyway, uh, push-pull system. It's got a uh, high speed but low torque in the box uh, feed, uh, and that's pushing. Uh, and the pull here is uh, adjustable by the potentiometer here on the side of the gun. Okay? So... Um, Anyway, that's your standard push-pull system, Cobra. These are great guns. I have a number of them here. I've also got the uh, couple of uh, Cobra Matic uh, 260s, Cobra MiG 260s there set up. One's got a newer gun, uh, also in another listing. Anyway, um, I'm going to attempt this uh, fillet weld here. As you can see, I got a bit of old iron and I cleaned it up a little bit there. Tacked it down. It's going to be a huge amount of heat going into it. I'm going to try and give it a nice uh, herringbone effect uh, with my weld, uh, you know, dare I say, stack of dimes. Alright, um, this system uh, is uh, listed on eBay under Trinity Surplus, or Jeremiah's Tools is my uh, eBay name. Jeremiah's Tools, this is Jeremiah, thank you.